the creative cooking in Ani's kitchen. It's about almost three in the morning. And I had a really good treat up last night. And I kind of got a second win, which I haven't had one of these in a while. And decided to get up and make my beef sausage and potato casserole. So here are my beef sausages. I'm just frying them up. Really quick here. And then I'm going to peel and cut and uh, boil these potatoes. Let me get my sausage out. You're going to need for this dish, you're going to need your favorite cheeses. I'm using Monterey and uh, sharp cheddar and then some Velveeta slices, cheese slices. And uh, you need four tablespoons of flour, two cups of milk. I'm using the can of Evap, which is a cup and a half, and half a cup of almond milk. And then uh, you'll need about a half a teaspoon of salt. And I think that's about it. I mean, if you want to add onions and green peppers and anything else like that, you can. If you don't want to use beef smoked sausage, you want to use bacon, you can do that as well. Okay. Hard blanche, get creative. That's what I'm all about. All right, so I've got my beef smoked sausages fried up. As you can see. So what I'm going to do is I, I got my water in the pot back here. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Probably with some Maggie instead. Give the potatoes some flavor. Put about a tablespoon of Maggie. And I'm going to peel and dice my potatoes and put them in here. And I'll be back. Here's my uh, Monterey Jack cheese. Here's my sharp cheddar. And here are my Bavita slices. And that'll be everything. So, I'll be back. Oh, you're also going to need four tablespoons of butter. Which I have right here. So, um... With this, you can also do eggs. Like after the casserole is done, you can actually crack some eggs on the top and put it in the oven. So totally on you if that's how you want to do it or make your, your eggs separate. This is a breakfast dish. And uh, you could, like I said, you can add green peppers, whatever you like, onions, uh, garlic, you know. Make it comfortable for you and your family. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get on with these potatoes, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fry these potatoes in some of the oil. I want it a little crispy. You can eat them just boiled if you like and cool them down. I've already quartered mine. As you can see, so I'm just going to put them in the oil and let them fry up, get a little crispy, because that's how I feel like having them today. All right. Okay. I think that's all of them. Yep. They're already seasoned, so I don't have to do anything to them. Just fry them up a little bit. And then in this mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and put our milk. Two cups of milk. I'm going to open my evap. Here's the evap. Okay. Put bake. 
dusty. Okay. We're going to put, I got the salt in here, half a teaspoon of salt, and four tablespoons of flour. We're going to whisk that. There's the milk and the flour and the half teaspoon of salt. Of course, the butter. And that's four. Put this in the microwave for a little bit. So everything can come together. And just for a couple minutes. Open up all these cheeses. Start dropping in our cheese. It's very simple and delicious breakfast dish. Again, you can add the eggs on top when you bake it, or you can make the eggs separate. Totally on you. Okay? Just line your potatoes in your casserole dish. The recipe calls for three cups. That's what I use, but depends on the size of your family. So, again, make it for your family, that's comfortable for you all, okay? All right, so we got our potatoes in there. We're gonna go ahead and put our sausages in here. Use whatever kind of sausage, bacon you like, your favorite. These smoked sausages work really well and very tasty for this recipe. Okay, here is the mix. See that? I'm going to pour this. On in there. My oven is ready, it's set for three fifty. Okay. 
So you got your flour in here, you got your butter. You got your salt and your cheeses. And of course your milk. Goes in a 350 degree oven, about 30, 40 minutes, depends on your oven. And then when it's about done, that's when you can crack the eggs right on top if you so choose. You don't have to. I'll be back. Okay, well, here it is. I just pulled her out of the oven. And she's still sizzling hot, as you can see. But uh, as soon as she cools down, we'll go ahead and serve her up. Again, you can make a little, to get a spoon and make a little uh, well and put some eggs in there and then put it back in the oven for about five minutes at 350 if you so choose. But look at that deliciousness. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh-uh. As soon as it cools down, we'll be able to serve it up. It's still sizzling. It's all that butter. All right, so put some green onions, some dill, um, whatever you like, parsley, cilantro. Yep. I'll be back. Okay, well, here it is. Here's the dish. There are the eggs. There is the potato cheesy potato and beef sausage uh, casserole. There's a slice of it. And it is also delicious. A couple of eggs on the side. Uh, again, you can cook the eggs separate or you can make, uh, with a spoon, you can make some little wells after your casserole is about done. Bring it out the oven while it's still hot. Make some wells. Crack some eggs over the wells, put it back in the oven for about five to eight minutes, and you're done. Or you can make them separate, as I did. And um, I chose in chives, um, not chives, sorry, green onion over mine. Uh, you can dress them up with whatever you like. And until the next one, listen, you all, give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, become a subscriber. And then to the right of that, you can go ahead and turn on that little bell. Just tap on it. It'll turn on and you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe. Don't miss out. It's absolutely free. And let's enjoy one another and each other's recipes on here. And until the next one, God bless y'all. You all take care of yourselves and one another. Bye.